Governor Ted Strickland has filled the position left vacant by the late Chief Justice Thomas Moyer with Judge Eric Brown. Brown was already running for the Ohio Supreme Court post. 10TV's Jeff Hogan takes a closer look at the reaction to his appointment that ranges from mixed to volatile. I have decided to appoint Judge Brown. To Judge Brown is now interim Chief Justice Eric Brown. Thank Governor you. Ted Strickland said he didn't think it would be a surprising appointment since he had already publicly encouraged the 56-year-old to run ever since late Chief Justice Thomas Moyer announced his resignation. More than what he's done, Judge Brown belongs on the Ohio Supreme Court because of he, what he will do. Brown is currently a Franklin County probate judge, but has spent time in Common Pleas Court and as Assistant State Attorney General for 10 years. He replaces a man who is known for putting people first, something Brown vows to continue. All persons who come to the court will be respected and treated courteously to make sure that all people are heard and know when they've been to court that they have in fact been heard. Opponents of the appointment say it could set up internal fireworks. Current Justice Maureen O'Connor is the Republican candidate running for the Chief Justice position. Ohio Republican Party Chair Kevin DeWine says, quote, Chief Justice Moyer spent his entire judicial career working to remove partisan politics from the bench, and Ted Strickland could barely wait three days after his funeral to start trashing that legacy, end quote. Others opposed say the governor could have done the right thing by picking someone politically neutral who wasn't already trying to get a seat on the top court. Court. What we have now for the next six months at least is, is a Supreme Court that's going to be purely uh, political in nature and it's going to be a lot of bickering back and forth. And we're not gonna Governor Strickland stands by his decision. Brown's interim appointment begins May 3rd and he plans to continue campaigning to be elected to the full-time position in November. Jeff Hogan, 10TV News.